welcome back to the channel. Thanks for following some of our recipes. Today we're going to be showing you one of our latest favorites. It's a cauliflower pizza for chicken bacon ranch. So we actually found these really wonderful plan approved crusts at our local grocery store. The nutrition on them is really wonderful. So using this crust, it's uh, going to be sweet red peppers. We're going to put everything on here, but we have to bake this first. And I learned that you really have to follow the instructions on it, just so it doesn't get that soggy cauliflower crusty bottom. But if you do follow it, it turns out really crispy and perfect. So here we go. So you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400. I already had it turned on for a little bit, but we're not quite there. And then you're going to get one of your crusts out. So it comes with two crusts in the package. They're very thin, individually wrapped. But you're just going to want to take one of them out and put them on an air bake pan. So it's got all those little holes in there. See all the holes? That lets it get nice and crispy. So go ahead and cut it out of the package and throw it on. Alright, so we're going to pop this in for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to go with 12 and then it's really important that you pull it out and let it cool fully for 10 minutes before you go any further. Alright, let's cook up our turkey bacon. Three pieces ought to do it for us. So go ahead and pull that out, get your pan nice and hot. It doesn't take long at all to cook. I've got the thin and crispy because it gives me the most bacon-like texture. Okay, so we went ahead and we actually bought pre-cooked chicken, the rotisserie chicken, so that way we didn't have to cook up some from scratch. So we have that already cooked and we need to get one and a half ounces of that. And then we will shred up some more of this chicken a little finer, so it fits on our small pizza, and then put that on the scale. All right, now let's chop up our bacon. I put it on a cooling rack just to get it off of the hot pan so that it helps cool down a little bit faster because you do want it to cool for that 10 minutes so the moisture kind of evaporates out before you put any toppings on. And now let's just cut up some green onions to put on the top. There we've got our toppings. All right, our crust is nice and cooled. I put it back on the tray just so I can assemble it, but as you can see, this baby is firm. All right, so we start with our base, which is our Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch. We're gonna be using two tablespoons of this. And I'm actually going to split up part of the quarter cup of cheese. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit down, then I'll put the toppings and then I'll put this back on the top. I'm going to put our one and a half ounces of warm chicken. You want to make sure that it's still warm or hot because it only spends a few minutes in the oven for the final cook. Let's go ahead and sprinkle that on top.
that pre-cooked bacon now. Green onions. And the final layer of cheese. gonna pop it in the oven for two minutes on 400 and then I'm gonna switch it over to broil for one minute I'm gonna wash carefully so it doesn't burn everything on top but I like a little bit extra crisp on that cheese so this recipe does give you a full lean and green serving for the five in one plan so the cheese and the bacon those are also lean substitutes so that's the reason why you're not having six ounces of chicken on your pizza. So you have to balance all of that. So this recipe we got from Sandy's Kitchen and it is on the plan. So be sure to follow your measurements. All right, we're gonna let that rest for about five minutes at least. Let everything kind of settle before we cut into that and then take it off the plate. The moment we've all been waiting for. And you can go ahead and you can eat this whole pizza or you can be like Matthew and I. We split the pizza in half and then we will have about a cup and a half of salad with three ounces of chicken. So then we can have pizza and salad. So let's go ahead and taste it. Ooh, look at that. Yum. Ready? so good. I know I say that about everything, but it's so good. <laughs> mm, you guys really should try this one. Seriously. Alright, so let us know what you think about this recipe. You can check the description for it listed out there. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what do you want to see us try out. Show you on the video. What are you curious about? And uh, yeah, hit subscribe, follow, let us know. All right. Thanks for following, guys. I'm going to go enjoy this pizza. Bye.